question. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, um, from our point of view, it's, it's probably not the best goal to concede. Uh, to run the ball from the goalkeeper. Um, don't deal with the first one, we don't deal with the second one, and then obviously, you know, it's on another day. Um, uh, maybe I'll be able to get a hand to it. Uh, looking back on it, um, but in saying that, I think he's probably scored a few of those in his career. Um, he's a good player, uh, good finish. When did you see him? Yeah, I mean, it, it, he took it quite early. I uh, didn't let it come across the body. Uh, hits it with the outside of his foot. At that point, it's, it's always leaving me. Um, ends up nestling in the top corner. Uh, like I said, um, you know, when you when you break down the play from from the start to the end, uh, there's instances throughout that that we could probably we could all do better on. Um, but like I said. It, to, to, to go into that game uh, and knowing what type of game it was going to be and then to, to limit them to, to the chances that they had uh, and then the, you know, the second half we were all over uh, to, to get a, a draw at the end of the day, I think it was fully deserved. Yeah, how important was that point? Getting a point out of this game. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was speaking to somebody afterwards and, and they made a good point. You know, if, if, you, if you look at these games uh, in the playoff sense, on the road, and then obviously you come back and play them at home, back to back, uh, you know, we're through to the next round. Um, so it was important to make sure that we got got something from the game, uh, especially uh, when you look at the table. So for us uh, to make sure that, that we didn't leave empty handed was a, was a massive result for us. Well, while well, well, not totally, I guess. Uh, Apropos today, what do you think of Mr. Clean Sheet? Uh, yeah. uh, and is that a persona you may adopt? Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, you're Yeah. Um, I had a few texts with some friends, um, but uh, no, listen. When you look at when you look at the support and the the dedication and the uh, togetherness of, of the supporters groups, um, of the fan fan base here in Atlanta, it's it's unbelievable. So I'm fortunate that. Uh, that they sing my name in a good way, and, and I'm fortunate to be on this team uh, and to be able to represent uh, those those fans in, in the city of Atlanta uh, playing for this club. So um, every week they, they seem to, to get stronger in numbers, louder in voice, and uh, their support has been tremendous. Uh, Brad, talk a little bit. You played all over the world. What's it like walking out in one of the oldest college football stadiums in America and seeing that? Yeah, I mean, listen, walking up here into this press conference, you know, we were talking about the stadium a little bit, and to be here um, and to be able to play play these games in, in front of this crowd and this this uh, this tremendous support that we get for our team, um, this is what it's about. This is, uh, as, a, as a professional athlete, this is what you want. You want to play in front of unbelievable crowd support, and, and when you play at home, when you play on the road, uh, it, it goes both ways, and so... For us to be able to, to play here uh, for the for the time being, and, and now eventually uh, move into Mercedes Benz, uh, it's going to be fantastic. We're we're really excited. We're excited to uh, you know say say thank you uh, to to Bobby Dodd and, and everyone affiliated with this stadium. Uh, but at the same time, we're excited to get into Mercedes Benz and, uh, and and put our stamp on that stadium as well. So how you feel in the new team? Yeah, I feel good. Uh, the guys have been really good. Um, I said earlier, maybe maybe last week or something, uh, I was saying that uh, the the players here are, are football players. You know, they're they're smart players. They they have talent, of course, uh, but at the same time, they've got football in brains and and they understand the game. Obviously, we've got a great manager and great coaching staff, and so when when you put all those things together, uh, to have that in MLS, it, it gives us the real ability to to go into games um, and and obviously put together a performance that, that our fans can be proud of and, and ultimately help us get points and, uh, and make sure we find ourselves in the playoffs. Uh, Don Dwyer, Kyle Laren, obviously for the first time together uh, in this game, uh, you guys seem to shut it down pretty well. Is that a combination of uh, preparation uh, or more of them yeah, struggling throughout the game? I mean, listen, I, I, they're good players. Uh, they're good players. We, we knew it was going to be a challenge for us. Um, but that's, that's what these games are about. Um, for us, going into it, we knew that Don would add a, a new dimension to their team. Um, and so to make, to make sure that we limited their chances and, and their ability on the ball, uh, 
it started with, with our ability to, to close down the ball out wide and, and defend crosses. Uh, when, you, when you look at Leonard's goals, he's good in and around the box, uh, down the same. And when you get tight and you put pressure on him, it, it makes it difficult for them. So. What did Orlando City do this week that they didn't do last week? What, what seemed to change in their game plan? Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, there were times, there were times where they they found themselves with a good amount of space to, to be able to, you know, when you when you have Kaká being able to to run in the back line, it can cause problems for you. And, and today, uh, there were times when when that did happen, but but ultimately we, we try to get closer to guys, um, make it difficult for them in terms of getting their head up and be able to pick a pass. Uh, and I think we were able to do that from from long stretches of the game. Was there a sense of frustration throughout? Because it seemed like Atlanta had a lot of chances to score where yeah. wasn't capitalizing. Uh, did the frustration grow throughout the game? I, I don't think it's frustration. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess you can use the word frustration, but that comes when, when you're on top for, for long stretches. And, and we were on top of them. Uh, we, were, we were knocking on the door. Uh, our final ball probably wasn't the best today, whether it be a, a shot or a cross or a pass. We, we weren't probably as sharp as we, we normally are. Um, thankfully, uh, when it mattered most, uh, the, the entry ball in, in for the goal, and, and obviously a great finish. Um, so you take the point, you move on, and uh, we'll, we'll keep getting better. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.